Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fogarty Arena for CTN's live coverage of girls' high school hockey. Tonight, a Northwest Suburban Conference showdown from the newly joined Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad as they host the Andover Huskies. Joe Young and Howie Shapiro, high above the action, our first opportunity to see the new squad in action. Yeah, they had a game on Saturday against Irondale, which they came out the uh, on the winning end at 5-1 to one score. And, and this will be interesting because you're melding two, to me, two teams, two communities together and, and trying to put some continuity on the ice. And I think that according to Coach Nelson, you know, they've done that so far early on. They've been really happy with the mix here of, of girls on this squad. On the flip side, the Andover Huskies lost just one player from last year's squad. So a very veteran lineup for Coach Melissa Volk as they enter. They, it took them to the third period to get going in their opener against Anoka, but came from behind 2-0 to win that one 4-2 with an empty net goal. Yeah, and if you, if you remember, Andover, very physical, aggressive team, and, and the Cardinals, uh, the Spring Lake Coon Rapids team, more of a, of a skilled, finesse team. So it'll be an interesting matchup between these two squads. Recovered in her own end by Cedarburg. Pass skips away from Holmes. She'll recover off the far boards and circle back into her own end. Back near side for Cedarburg across her own blue line. Through center ice. Avoids a poke check into the zone. Had it tapped away and going the other way are the Catbirds. Turnquist down the near side. Pass out front looking for Hackett was broken up. And the Huskies come back through center. Morgan check. I, I like did. it. I like it. I had to. I like it. They've got to have a nickname. Stick. It should stick, the Catbirds. I can call them the home squad, the visitors when, on the, when they're uh, on the road, but you should have some sort of mascot. Absolutely. Played back behind. Hansen picks up and carries along the far boards. Poked off of her stick by Rafferty. Rafferty back out front. Tipped and played away by the keeper. Of course, Brittany Buell getting the start in nets for Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad. We're obviously very familiar with her. Buck played back into the end over end. Huskies come through center. Played in deep. Bicing waved off. And is played around behind by Bloomquist. Schultz back near side and now through center. And flipping it in deep is Brina Del Castillo. Off the backboards is Loma. Del Castillo backhands it out to the point. Stopped up there by Bloomquist. She lost an edge. Here comes a two on one for the Huskies. Williams pass out front. The save there by Buell. A nice job. Buell got a piece of that. It was a nice two-on-one break for the Huskies. Not able to put the puck in the net. And Bloomquist going to draw the early whistle for checking. And Andover an early power play. Yeah. All right, we're going to see that last uh, last shot on the goal. Tessa Williams bringing it down As the right Buell side. Able to make that Paige save. Anderson. On the two-on-one, getting across with the blocker for the stage is Brittany Buell. Unable to get it out past the defense is Taylor Turnquist. It is turned back in by Cedarburg. Fired around the near board, stopped up there by Butarek. Butarek. Back at the point is Cedarburg. Keeps it in, pressured by Hackett, gets it right back off her skates. Cedarburg down low. Turpin behind the net. Back to the far side for Portner. Her shot near side. Turned away by the toe of Buell. A shot through traffic. It didn't make it in on net. And the Spring Lake Park 2 Rapid squad able to clear as Turnquist plays at the distance. Uh, some good early pressure by the Huskies put on net, and Buell able to come up with a couple of saves and an opportunity to keep her. Squad at zero. Cedarburg pressured by Hackett down the wing, able to keep it in behind. Pass out front. Skips off the stick of Buderak, but right to Holmes. Holmes. Cross ice for Portner. That shot hits hard off the backboards. Back out to the point. Cedarburg winds, shoots wide, looking for the tip on the near side. By 
Lexi Turpin. Now it skips just out of the reach of Buderak. Cedarberg controls. Good power play here. Another one turned away by Buell, a relatively easy, easy save to make. Behind the net is Turpin. Far side for Portner. Trying to go back down low. That was broken up by Schultz and played all the way down. Stumo, the keeper at the other end, just a freshman, played last year as an eighth grader. Yeah, she did pretty well. And turned in a pretty yeah. impressive season. Absolutely. Under 10 seconds remaining in this advantage for the Huskies. Poked down the wing by Paige Anderson. She'll give chase, but the player back on the ice. Catbirds have killed it off. That shot through traffic, kicked away. And Coon Rapids St. Louis Park, or Spring Lake Park, able to play it back out to center. Right back in come the Huskies. Shot from the point is well wide for Tomberlin. Luoma into the corner. Del Castillo plays it back near side for Hackett. Or no, that's not Hackett. Excuse me, that's Mallory Corrigan who plays it in on goal and it's covered up by Stumo. Yeah, Stumo last year had the majority of time in net, had 10 and 12 record with a couple of ties last year. He had 2.76 goals against average to finish the season. Pretty good for just an, an eighth grader. Buterik able to win the draw back into the corner for Nowaki. She's tied up back there. The, and, that, and that's the instance I find myself just looking for something to say team-wise, a team name playing it back I, out, I, and I, I don't have one. Catbirds, I like cat it. Birds. We're going to settle on that for now. They got a cat on one shoulder, and a bird, a bird on, the on the other, right? Absolutely. That's neither a part... It, and it takes neither part. It's better by than the Panthenals. The Panthenals. Huskies able to play it in deep. Centering pass, nobody there in a black jersey. Turn around the other way by Crawford. Huskies regrouping well through center again. Chance for Schultz and a goal. Oh, that one got passed. Michelle right. Holmes, rather. On a turnover right out front. A little bit of pressure in on the uh, Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids net. I think Buell got a little bit of a piece of it, but wasn't able to, to come away with it. And the Huskies are going to draw first blood. They're going to get on the board 1-0 to take the early lead. Here with 10.56 uh, remaining again to see it. A little bit, a little bit of uh, pressure in the front, and then you see the Well, and you see Buell one get, black jersey in the Buell. middle of five. Yep white jerseys and somehow that's where the puck goes right on the stick of Michelle Holmes and she quickly slips the wrist shot just past the foot of Brittany Buell a one nothing lead for Andover early. Uh, Holmes the leading scorer for the Huskies last year 15 goals 16 assists. Turn quits into the corner with it for Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids carries out front able to find a little bit of room in the high slot unable to get a shot off. Banks it off the boards, left back to the point. Big shot by Hansen. Hit Holmes, and then a shot in close for Turnquist is gobbled up by Stuma. As he's Stumo with a relatively easy save in that situation. Huskies up 1-0. There you see it again, just a shot in on net, and Stumo able to bring it inside. Official over explaining something to Andover head coach Melissa Volk. Cardinals and Panthers able to win the draw. The shot turned away by Stumo, recovered behind the net, and carried out front by Luma. Out to the point shot through traffic, and Stumo is there. Del Castillo recovers in the corner, trying to play it down low for Loma. Andover able to play it around. Cedarberg poking it ahead. And Del Castillo able to keep it in at the blue line. 
Retreating behind her own net is Tomberlich. She's bumped off of it there by Loma. Breakout near side. That pass doesn't connect. Loma tried to get it out front. That was broken up by Tomberlin. And Andover able to chop it back out to center. Well, Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids out shooting the Huskies 5-3 at this point. But trailing by a score of 1-0. Cedarburg looking for a pass, a nice job stepping into the lane, taking it away by Crawford. No other play than to play it in behind the net. Tomblin recovers there, hands off to Cedarburg, and there again is Crawford to poke it away. Far corner. Tied up with Cedarburg is Alyssa Brazier. Huskies come away with it, played out to center by Tessa Williams, and a long race to the other end. Buell will just play it back to the corner. Swung around near side. Kept in at the point. Kicked away. Schultz plays it ahead. That one handcuffed Crawford a little bit. Turned around by Andover. Crawford stops it up. Now stepping up with it is Milwaukee. Hands off and Buderak will play it in deep. Buderak a couple of points in that 4-2 win over Anoka in the opener. Kept in at the blue line by Jessa Saylor this time. Here comes Alyssa Hansen for Coon Rapids at Spring Lake Park. Good shot to go! Uh, nice job by Hansen. Just stayed with that puck and got the shot off. Dumo got a little bit of a piece of it, but not able to control it. And we're knotted up at one. Nice job by Hansen. Number four puts Andover on top. Number four answers for Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids. And we've got a tie game midway through the first period. And Hanson doing a nice job of coming down that wing and going to get the shot on goal, going to go through a defender. Stumo did get a piece of it, but it did slip past her and get to the back, back of the net. Well, in both goals so far, I think uh, both goalies would be very unhappy about uh, go saves they feel they should have made. Yeah, absolutely. But we're even up, and that's all that matters right now. Big tie up in the corner, deep in the end over end. Wow, that one almost oh. went off a defender and popped back into the net as it was set back out front. Turnquist trying to come out of the corner, poked away by Cedarburg. She recovers, pressured by Turnquist, taken into the boards. And the scrum is there. Buderak in there as well as uh, Liz Zarati for Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park. Yeah, and they're doing a good job of keeping it down in the Huskies end and continuing to apply some pressure down there as uh, they were able to tie this game up and still out shooting and over by a 7-4 margin. Good pressure to poke it away and another two on one opportunity. But then uh, over skating it a little bit with Sidney Portner. And here comes Turnquist the other way trying to step over against Tomberlin to lost the puck. Out to the point, Bloomquist shoots. That hit traffic out front, losing her balance there and copying it up was Portner. Now play back out to the point. Bloomquist, another shot that's blocked, this time by Holmes. Turnquist trying to weave her way out front, ties up with Tomberlin along the end boards. A lot of grinding along the boards early on in the offensive end for Kern Rapids Spring Lake Park. And here comes Portner again. Across the line, this shot. Stick save, oh. that one went off both posts on the rebound for Lexi Turpin. Yeah, and that rebound came right to Turpin as she was going down that right wing. Yeah, that's one Buell has to swallow yeah. up. She can't let that one get away with her as soft as it was. Harder shot, yeah, you want that in the corner. Del Castillo out front and couldn't get it to the backhand. Into the corner is Loma. Poked away from her. She recovers momentarily. Buderak and Del Castillo battling. And Sailor in there as well for Andover. Loma comes away with it.
Still tied up in traffic. Turnquist able to get it on net and Stuma in position. Loma had it momentarily. Poked back out to center now by handover. Hansen will fire it in. Ooh, oh, that's going to be yeah. a, that could be a tough one. She got there fast. They're just going to call it a check. You can see it right into the board, but yeah, you got to be careful. That's a, well, that that's close on that particular hit. I don't know. She had it's tough to tough to stop up. A good job getting uh, getting into position by uh, Olivia Thompson. Well, Joe, with 5-10 remaining in the opening period, Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park getting their first power play opportunity here. And over able to clear turn what Turnquist will recover behind her own net. Leave it there for Alyssa Hansen. Hansen cross ice skipped away from Turnquist. Pressured there by Holmes. Holmes able to get the puck off her stick. Cedarberg there to help out. Holmes gets it, backhands it through center, but not out. Shot from the slot, blocked away by Cedarberg. Kick to Holmes, and she's able to clear it the length. Buell will leave it for Del Castillo. Back into the corner. And up twice with it is Schultz. Tipped away from her by Holmes. Able to get it back to Lily Hackett. Lily Hackett avoiding a stick check. Had it poked away then by Cedarberg. Holmes recovered. Del Castillo leaves it to Turnquist at the point. Go down low, a tough angle shot. Kicked and then off the side of the cage. Her hand is Schultz. Holmes able to get it and play it all the way down. Husky's doing a nice job of killing this off. Although the Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park getting some opportunities. Getting some pressure anyway. That should just about do it. Down to six seconds and now five remaining in the penalty to Grace Halverson. There it is, full strength for Andover. Good Rapids with one shot, but really no good opportunities on that power play. Unable to keep it in at the blue line is Murphy, but able to recover through center. Taken away by Milwaukee now. She'll bring the Huskies into the offensive end, but offside. And with 2.43 remaining in the first period, we're all tied up, one apiece. A goal for Michelle Holmes at 6.04. Put Andover in the lead, but the response by Alyssa Hansen just under three minutes later evened it up. Slight shot and possession advantage would go to Coon Rapids Park, Coon Rapid, Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park. It's a mouthful. The Catbirds. The Catbirds. I'm telling you, it's so much easier. A block for Megan Ganley sends it back to the Andover end, recovered there by Grace Halverson. Hansen stops it up near center, now taking over and gaining the zone is Crawford. Crawford. Trying to center, that's broken up by Halverson, who controls behind the net. Her pass taken away, good anticipation uh, by Bloomquist coming up to take that one away. Long pass just out of the reach of Paige Anderson. And Hansen recovers, plays it back behind her own net, around to the far side for Brazier. Three bodies on the ice, two in black jerseys. Luskies hold the zone until now. Now Cedarberg will back away. Her pass tipped there by Ganley. Covered now by Milwaukee, who plays it off the boards. It was tipped, no ice. Buell leaves it there. Bloomquist will have to stop up and recover the puck. Up the far boards is Brazier. Trying to 
play it to herself, but well defended by Milwaukee. Butare trying to leave it off along the near boards as she's got help from Morgan Check out front is shot off the face mask. Butarek is shot, and that one's made. The save is made by Buell as well. Out to the point, quick shot, deflected once and almost twice by Buterek. Oh, great Under pressure. a minute remaining. That shot misses everything. Off the stick of Jessica Nowaki. Far corner it's played. Around behind and gaining control is Schultz. She moves it through center to Turnquist. Turnquist into the zone down the left wing. Circles, finds some space. Looking for help across. That shot. And the save is made by Sumo. Now they, now they work that puck around and get an opportunity to get a shot on goal. Sumo with a relatively easy save right into the bread basket. That was the look down at Brittany Buell with a couple of saves there. Andover doing a nice job pressuring the Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids net. Coon Rapids since Spring Lake Park won the faceoff. Cat, the cat bird. Yeah, the cat bird. Oh, it's it's got a stick. The Cardiners. The Panthenals. That's the what Panthenals. I thought, yeah. I like the Panthenals. I do. I don't mind that one. I like the cat birds better. That one was deflected in. Stumo will just leave it there for Cedarberg, and that should just about do it. For period number one, Andover strikes first, but Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park able to answer after 17 minutes. We've got a tie score. It's 1-1 from the Ice House. We'll take a break and be back with first period stats and highlights after this. You're watching live girls high school hockey on CTX. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Back at Fogarty Arena, the Ice House, the secondary home opener for the Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park squad. Opened their home season at Coon Rapids Ice Center on Saturday, and now a 1 1 game with Andover early on. A turnover out front, and it was costly. Tipped away from one Husky right to another. And it was buried by Michelle Holmes. A long rush for Alyssa Hansen, and then just able to sneak that one past Sumo. Even the score, those goals came about three minutes apart, right in the middle part of that first period. Yeah, good goal for Hansen to stop that momentum that uh, Andover is looking at for scoring first. There you see the stats. The uh, Catbirds out shooting the Huskies by a margin of nine to six. And we are moments away from dropping the puck on period number two. We'll have it for you next on CTN. When you watch CTN News, you'll notice we're different. It's about the people, the places, the stories that affect your life. We're local. We focus on the local communities, the local issues, and the local stories. They're the stories that impact you, the stories you won't find anywhere else. It's the people, the places, and the events that make CTN so interesting. It's about connecting you to your community, one story at a time. Brush, brushy, brush, brushy, brush, brush your teeth.
got a job to do today. I have got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. Second period just underway here at Full Green Arena. Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park hosting Andover, the Huskies. Moving through center, left side, Porter gets in and scores. Uh, did a nice job of stepping around the defender and a quick wrist shot getting past Buell. A quick goal to start period number two for Andover. Great step around move by Portner. Portner just walked the, walked the defender and then five hole on Buell to put her team back on top again. Yeah, just nice job getting past the defender and then the, the shot to the far side gives Andover the 2-1 lead. A well, nice way for the Huskies to start here on the road. Just 19 seconds into the second period, they have a 2-1 lead. Pressure down at the other end now. Cedarberg along her back end board, plays it over for Tomberlin. Her centering pass is stipped away by Loma. And over able to recover. That one just out of the reach of Portner. Hansen recovers for Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park. Stopped up. Played back up the boards by Turpin. Right at center ice, the four players scrum in front of the official's box. Hansen back in her own end, feeds her right back up to Cedarburg. Gets across center, high off the boards and deep in behind. Where it'll be left up by Buell. That pass broken up in the corner by Paige Anderson. Tried to walk out front, tipped away from her. Played to the line, but kept in by Nowaki. Kicking in the head is Bloomquist, a little too far and out of her reach, but she continues to pressure all the way down on Stumo. Cedarburg coughs it up, and therefore it is Loma. Lost her skates, but no call. And back the other way comes Paige Anderson. She's bumped off it by Bloomquist, and the whistle stays silent. Centering attempt, and nobody there. In a black jersey, turned away by Bloomquist. This one played toward the front again. Loma pokes it toward the toward the corner. Recovered there by Schultz, and she'll carry up the near side. Schultz through center, had it tipped away from her. And Anderson it wheels around, dumps it in deep. My uh, Mackenzie Peterson. And she had a trailer there as well, but uh, it just tipped away from her. Early on, it. You know, they talking to the coaches before the game, uh, both head coach Sandy Nelson and assistant coach Matt Mossy, uh, they said the girls are coming together pretty well. They pretty seamless considering they were two squads last year. But early on, it does seem as uh, they do not have the best communication out there. And hopefully something that will come along as we move through the season. That one just kind of slid in toward Buell, and she's not taking any chances with that. Covers it up, get a whistle, and a face up to her right. See, again, continued pressure by Andover. The Huskies trying to get that opportunity, and Buell's just going to cover that up. Coach Nelson told me that the, the girls were, had, were quickly learned their systems, and, and she was a little surprised by that fact, how quickly they were able to pick that up. And, and that's important. This is going to be a deeper team. They're going to they're gonna skate three lines each and every night. Played back in behind the net recovered there by Check. Played it out front, skips back into the near corner. It's a day able to get it back out to Cedarburg at the point. Now played back around, held in there by Halverson. Stopped up by Buterik in the corner.
Cross side pass skips away and out of the zone. Played right back in by Cedarburg. Up and out of play into the bench over the head of head coach Melissa Volt. Well, the Huskies able to get a couple of shots so far. One obviously going in net here in the second period to start. The Huskies doing a good job of really controlling the action here early on. You know, that goal early uh, 19 seconds in really gave them a little momentum back after, after they opened the scoring in the first period. Face off at center, won by Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park. Chase back in behind. Milwaukee trying to keep it away from Brennan Del Castillo. Loma had it headed toward the front of the net, but Andover able to break it up. Now play it out to center. A solid hit right there at the blue line. Brandy Del Castillo stood, stood her ground. No check on the play. It's a steal by Loma and Loma in. Her shot turned away by Stumo. Able to get a quick shot on net. Relatively easy save for Stumo. Centering attempt broken up. Turpin plays it up the boards and played out by Holmes. Far side, Bloomquist chips it off the boards. Bloomquist will track down in her own end. Taken away by Sade who tries to center. And Coon Rapids going to be called for the penalty as Hanson brought Sade down after coughing it up. You're going to see the, uh, the puck's going to get loose. And Hanson's going to try and uh, get a piece of the stick. Oh, this is the action at the other end. And the second opportunity for the Huskies to go on the power play here tonight. Each team having an opportunity in the first period. Now the first for the Huskies here in period number two. Well, they look pretty good on their first effort. Possess the puck well, moving the zone. Controlling. This one poked away by Hanson. Oh, I thought it was Hanson that got the penalty. Penalty goes against Bloomquist. Tip out front just went wide and great positioning there by Morgan Check. Shot through traffic, glove save by Brittany Buell. Well, as you talked about, Husky's doing a pretty good job possessing on their first opportunity here, getting a little pressure early on. First 29 seconds of this penalty. Centering pass, and it goes wide off the stick of Holmes. Controlled along the boards by Turpin, out to the point. Cedarburg shot blocked by Loma, and she's feeling that one. Chip back into the corner. Clearing attempt doesn't get out, and neither does that one. Right on the line, Cedarburg controls. Back to the near side, that shot, and there's no way that Buell saw that one, but she was in position to make the save. Oh, we're going to get another penalty. This one's going to be a hook. And Andover will give it up. Holmes going to the box for the Huskies. Be four on four, and the faceoff coming back down to the Andover end. And then uh, Spring Lake Park Coon Raptor will get a minute eight. Face off one back to Brittany Del Castillo. Cedarburg settles the puck as it taken away from behind by Cameron Crawford. Stepping back in his check out into the zone, tipped up and over the net. Buterak in the near, near corner, back behind for check. Check sidesteps the pressure, trying to walk out front. And it's knocked off her stick at the last second out of the point is Milwaukee. Out to Cedarburg. Cedarburg shoots, shoots through traffic, kicked away by Buell.
Milwaukee's shot tipped. That played by a high stick by Cedarburg, but then Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park touches, and Cedarburg keeps it in the zone. Buterak behind the net, looking. Will dump it in behind. Check there to recover. Turnquist will finally get the puck back to Brittany Del Castillo. She'll turn and head up ice. Back for Turnquist. Batted at, but able to get around the corner on Milwaukee, but then lost her skates. Milwaukee can't get it past Hansen at the point. Plays it back in deep. Turnquist recovers behind the net. Turnquist turns, looks. Coon Rapids on the short power play. Now the shot through traffic and Stumo able to suck it into her gut. Get the whistle. 24 seconds remain on the advantage. Oh, Hanson gets a shot on net. Now we're all tied up at 11 shots on goal. As Hanson gets an opportunity to get it on net. But Stumo, as you mentioned, made the easy cover. Was able to tip that one away, but create some confusion and clear the zone. Under 10 seconds remaining on the power play. Hackett through center, trying to gain some speed around the corner on Turpin. In behind the net, the penalty to Holmes is over. Hackett, top of the circle, leaves it for Hansen. We'll get it back down low. Hackett. Leaves it off along the boards with Turnquist. Got out of the zone. Hansen pops it right back in. Sailor from behind her own net. Brina Del Castillo got in her way. Mandover fans wanted a call, but they, they won't get it because Sailor clearly turned into the contact. That shot didn't have much chance of getting past Buell. Kicked in behind the net. Centering it, Tech fanned on. Hansen recovers. Moves it ahead for Del Castillo. Bounces away from her. Recovered, and here's Hackett walking in. Leaving it for Turnquist. A shot, Stumo, the save. Rebound, Del Castillo. The goal on the back end. Uh, nice job. Nice way to stay with the puck. Del Castillo did a great job. On the backhand again, the puck over Stumo. And we are knotted up at two. Good pressure by Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park and a couple of efforts there. And Del Castillo able to get the goal. See, they give back the shot on goal. Rebound coming out. Del Castillo that, with a nice job on the backhand. Get into that far corner. That's a tough one. It was too far for Stumo to try and sweep that one back to herself. But uh, you never want to poke it deeper. No into the slot and Brina Del Castillo cashes in on her opportunity we're all knotted it to a piece right off the draw quick pressure by Paige Anderson along the left wing and behind the net back out to the point Tomberlin across to Cedarburg her shot deflected and ends up off the back lap Bloomquist kicks it behind poked at there by Crawford Tied up, Crawford will sweep it back to the near side. Bloomquist. Ahead, but too far for the breakout pass to Brazier. And the shot by Tomberlin didn't have a lot on it. Easy save for Buell. Now Buell decides to hold the puck and get the face off to her left. Del Castillo with speed through center. Trying to gain the edge and finds it a goal! Wow! Her second! Uh, nice job, and, and as you talked about, that speed, able to get to the corner and get around the defender. And a nice shot by Del Castillo. It's still low as she's able to get her second goal. Uh, just, a, just a nice job as she's gonna find that Far corner. We'll see it again. And 
Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park with its first lead of the night here midway through this second period. They're buzzing. Played in by Del Castillo, and Stumo's going to cover up. His Loma was right on the doorstep. Yeah, that time smartly she decided to make sure she brought that puck in, and let's, let's uh, have the face off. Brandy Delker, uh, Brittany Del Castillo can't keep it in. Turn quiz. Looks to the far side. Centering pass kind of skipped up and Stumwell played a little center field. Yeah. Uh, and smartly. Don't let the bouncing puck get past. Smartly, she was able to bring that one in and get the face off to her left. Turpin will play it back up the board. Stepping up to break it up was Alyssa Hansen. And a great job keeping it in at the blue line by Hansen. She's had a nice game. She really has. Even without the goal. Yep. Poke to center. And here comes a two-on-one opportunity. Stopping up is Holmes. She'll fire from a weak angle, and it's an easy save for Brittany Buell. Yeah, uh, Brill just going to bring that one back in and force that face off to her right. But a, a nice spark for the Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad as uh, they, they were down 2-1, able to get a couple of quick goals and take this lead with 6.37 remaining in the second period. Quick shot by Cedarberg, a save, a rebound chance, but it skips just out of the reach of Hannah Skinner. Excuse me, that's Sydney Porter who's on the doorstep. Ahead for Brina Del Castillo. We'll play it off the boards, trying to get around Cedarberg, and does. Pumped into the boards, Loma there to help. Played around near side, Sade there for Andover. To the line, but kept in on the backhand by Corrigan. Just out of the reach of Portner, a race to the other end. Icing waved off, Portner tied up there by Murphy. Played around, far side, kept in at the line by Cedarberg. She'll walk in, shoot from the top of the circles, and Buell able to Get control and cover up. Now again, she gets that shot right inside and, and smartly again covers up. Does not give up that rebound. As you see, Portner right in front of the net. Schultz behind the net, reverses course. Voids a couple of end over four checkers. Long pass to Loma, can't get past the defender. Brina recovers, gets it into the zone. Trying to play it down the board and over. Trying to push it back up. Three white jerseys keeping that puck in along the near side. Coming away with it is Corrigan trying to center. That's stopped up by Halverson. Halverson recovers, or Cedarberg in to help. She plays it back around the near side. Now back out to center, where it's going to be tracked down by Cameron Crawford. Crawford behind her own net, stops up, leaves it there. Pass deflected, but gets out to center. Covered there by Halverson, who plays it ahead. Bloomquist can't stop it up. Here come the Huskies, two on one again. A shot, Buell the save, a rebound. And I don't know that Buell got a piece of that second one or if it just went wide. Well, I don't know, she, she gave up that rebound. I think she may have just got a piece of that puck. Nonetheless, uh, too close for comfort for the Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad. Fired in deep by Megan Ganley. And in her own end to recover is Haley Tomberlin. Long pass too far out of the reach of Corrigan and it, or out of the reach of Williams and it's turned right back in by Alyssa Hansen. Morgan Check will dump it in. Pressure back behind by Sade. Vitarek, Vitarek able to try to get it back to the point. Broken up by Hackett. She's got help. A three on one. A shot. A save. A rebound. A goal. Oh, nice job. Chris on the follow. Puts Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park up by two. Oh, nice job following the puck, Joe. They did a great job. First one, Stumo got a, got a piece of. Rebound came out in front. 
Gunkus pokes it home. That's the second goal that has started with Lily Hackett centering on an odd man rush. Turnquist did a nice job of just, uh, both those players, nice job of following the, the rebound. And Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids up 4-2 now, Joe. Three unanswered here in just under five minutes of play. And here's Holmes getting in behind the defense. Good job recovering there by Emma Murphy. She controls along the far boards. Kept in at the line, a tip and a save by Buell. And able to pounce on the bouncing puck as Michelle Holmes was on the doorstep looking she, for her second. She was. She was right there. She saw that opportunity, but good job by Buell just to bring that puck in. So you're going to see the, the rebound off her glove, but she's able to pull it inside. Holmes a nice tip on the initial shot. Centering pass, and that one just a little too tight for Sydney Porter to control. Cedarberg all the way back behind her own net. Oh, big collision. Oh, and that's not good. Cedarberg in a lot of pain. A lot of pain. And just, and that is not good for a player who has been a standout for the Huskies so far in this game. We are going to take a little bit of time uh, to let the trainer take a look at that. And uh, we will be back with more of this game from Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park and over after this. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. <laughs> You are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. <laughs> together now we can make it better now come on can we do it yeah you know that we can we'll rope it up cause we know how to jump we'll roll it out roll it out we know how to skate we'll cut it down we'll cut it down we know what to eat we'll swap it out we eat healthy stuff can we do it yeah you know that we can can we do it do it just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier search we can to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. Back at Fogarty Arena, you can see they are still attending to Mackenzie Cedarberg on the ice in a lot of pain. And this is one of the Huskies' uh, better players. She yeah. Is, uh, obviously a, a very solid player on the on the blue line for the Huskies. And uh, take a look at the hit. And there you saw it. And she gets up and starts skating, and then you see her just drop to her knee, hanging, holding her arm out. Another look at it. 
Hansen stepping up and just a lot of pain. Drop a lot that, of pain. Drop that uh, stick immediately. No call made, and I, I know the uh, the Andover coaching staff had a few words to say about it to the officials when they came out to look at their player. Obviously, uh, anytime a player is down on the ice for this amount of time, uh, it is not a good thing. No, it's a, it's more of a serious situation, and we certainly hope she's going to be okay. But uh, yeah, definitely, you she went down. She is in, she was in a world of pain. You know, we couldn't really see exactly what happened. We can certainly surmise, but uh, you know, we just play doctors on TV. We're not real doctors. Yeah, well, they are. They have an ice pack on yeah. her wrist. Yeah, they it, did that it earlier. It definitely appeared that it, it would be a, a wrist or an arm, and uh, hopefully, it's not too severe because um, obviously a big part of this Andover squad, especially along their blue line. We'll take another break while they continue to uh, check on Mackenzie Cedarberg, and we'll be back to the ice house after this. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Brush, brushy, brush, brushy, brush, brush your teeth. It could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. What's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just I, there was a I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, smoke key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. So they moved Mackenzie Cedarberg over to the end of the visitors bench. Uh, they did wrap her arm. I, I, there's definitely ice there. I don't know if they have it splinted as well. It definitely looked to be the case, uh, but that is uh, what they are looking at. And again, we we sincerely hope that it is not a serious injury. Yeah, absolutely. It, it looks like they, they did wrap a bag of, of ice around. I didn't see a splint on it, but nonetheless, uh, it did, did not look good. And you're right. We hope that that's not too serious. We hope she'll be all right. So back to action, just under three minutes remaining in this second period. Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park with a 4-2 lead. That pass skips away. That was a... Uh... <laughs> pass got away from Portner and it, it kind of rolled in on Buell and it was kind of scary the way she played that puck.
on this, uh, you know, unfortunately the, the uh, injury kind of stopped the momentum of this game. Just 2 th 227 remaining in the second period. But I know the uh, Andover players are certainly concerned about their teammate. Yeah, they and have it, to continue and to an play. injury like that, especially to, a, to one of your Better higher players. level players. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I, she's clearly number one on the blue line. Yeah. For this Andover squad, she's she's impressive back there. Hackett tips it into the zone, down to two minutes remaining here in the second. Played around by Tamberlin, stopped up far side by Sade. There to meet her was Hanson. Skipped away from Hackett in the high slot. Kept in at the line by Crawford. Crawford pokes it back in deep. Recovered there by Tamberlin. Stops up behind her own net. Played that one off the back. And wow, well, they're letting them play, boy. They really are. Really Hackett just got leveled. And I'm talking right in front of the linesman. I mean, right. He couldn't. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're, they're That's a good solid hit by Grace Alverson, too. Circling in the corner now is Turnquist. Out to the point. Hansen tries to go back door backhand for Turnquist. Rebound just out of the reach of Loma. And the Huskies able to get it back out to neutral ice. Sent back in by Hansen. Well, Hansen did a nice job of just controlling that puck and getting it back in as she took she's off the ice to get a little bit of a change. Turnquist, high slot. Skates out of a great shooting angle. Skates in close and door is closed. Quick whistle as that puck may have still yeah, been it, moving. It was moving. I was surprised they blew the whistle. But uh, yeah, they watch that. I mean, look how close the official is to this. I mean, she doesn't throws his shoulder down and pounds and, and, and right the the official looking and at it. He's obviously staring right at him. Love it. Wow. What a play. <laughs> I, uh, how is that outside the? I, I'm not uh, the sure. Blue it was, line. Uh, he was clearly deflected up and out by Andover, but they move it outside the zone. Can Rapids Spring Lake Park able to win the draw and play it in deep? Sailor along the boards, kept in at the blue line by Murphy. Brina pressuring behind the net. Some help in the corner from Loma. Brina recovers. 30 seconds left in the period. Out to the point, across. Schultz will step up. That shot blocked by Holmes. Recovered in the corner by Milwaukee and played up ahead for Holmes. Cross ice pass, nobody there. Now we're covering it as Turpin. Turpin into the corner, looks out front. That pass deflected away into the near corner. Under 10 seconds remaining as it plays back out to center. And that should do it for the second period. Again, Andover gets the lead to start the period just 19 seconds into the second. But Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park with three unanswered. They have a 4-2 lead as we head to the second break. We'll have second period stats and highlights after this. You're watching Girls High School Hockey on CTF. Cook foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Once its sights are set, nothing can stop the ferocious lion from capturing its prey. Relying on keen senses, lions search patiently before striking with alarming speed. Wait for it. Gotcha, Mr. Piece of Rubbish. He is truly the master of his environment. Do good. Be a lion. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN Sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection, they need you. Back at Fogarty Ice Arena, Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids, a 4-2 lead after the second period. And uh, they just got that momentum behind them. Again, about midway through that period, scored three unanswered to take the lead. And, you know, kind of a shocking start to the second period, just 19 seconds in to the second period. Sidney Portner, a great move to get loose and then finds the five hole on Brittany Buell. Put her team up two to one. But then uh, Coon Rapids came storming back. Another odd man rush. Turnquist to shot. Brina Del Castillo cashes in on the rebound. Then just uh, less than a minute later, Brina using her speed to get down the wing. Shoots far side for her second of the night. That gave Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park its first lead of the game. And then again, another odd man rush started by Lily Hackett. This time finished by Turnquist. That gave Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park the 4-2 uh, lead. And then some big hits. That one right there probably taking uh, one of the best players on the ice out of the game and possibly out uh, for some time. Uh, definitely uh, hope for and oversake the injury to Mackenzie Cedarberg is, is not serious. Uh, but it definitely looked that way, especially considering how long she was on the ice. Yeah, it, it really did. And, and these officials certainly are letting them play. It is getting a little physical. And, and we've seen we've seen hits like that called before. But the officials here tonight are, are letting them get away with it. And you look at the stats there. It's a pretty even contest. 20 shots on goal for Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids. 19 for the Huskies. And you, you have to talk about the fact that the Cardinals gained that momentum after falling down, uh, falling behind two to one, came back three unanswered goals to take control going into the third period with that two goal lead at four to two. And you know, Joe, I think what the what the Spring Lake Panthers, or as we like to affectionately call them, the, the Catbirds. Birds. That's right. Yeah, the Catbirds. You birds. heard it here first. It's <laughs> trademarked for CTN. That's a CTN copyright you know, on I, the word Catbirds. I think they'll come out and continue to pressure here in the third period and with a two goal lead. I don't think they'll sit back and protect that. I'll think they'll continue to try and put some pressure in on net. And of course, Andover's going to try and answer that. But we'll see what kind of momentum they have after the injury to one of their better players coming into this third period. Well, that typically will fire a team up, but Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids 
has a two-goal cushion when we head to the third. We'll have the puck drop next on CTN. Oh, hi. I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN Sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees and always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov. It's a beautiful day out here. Sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 90 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go. Oh, hi, I'm TV's Howie Shapiro. And when I'm not announcing CTN sports broadcasts with my sidekick, Joe Yen, I'm watching all the other great programs on the CTN Studios YouTube page. There's news stories, great local events, and even full games. You can even watch on any smart device with a YouTube app. Whether that's your phone or a tablet, you can watch CTN's great programming wherever and whenever you want. You can even watch CTN's event coverage live. So no matter where you are, you can share in all the excitement. CTN Studios, building community through cable. We taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. It's a beautiful day out here. Sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 90 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go. Back at the Ice House, Fogarty Arena, ready for the third period. Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids with a 4-2 lead as we get set for the last 17. Yeah, Coon Rapids, Spring Lake Park, able to gather that momentum in the second period and see what they can do carrying it over here to period number three. Have to feel comfortable with a two-goal lead, but the way Andover plays, they're aggressive in front of the net. 
when you well, certainly can't afford to give anything up. Well, and you, you lose Cedarburg, which is a big Huge. part. I mean, you can't underestimate or overestimate uh, the part she plays on this Husky Absolutely. team. And I've only watched them for two periods, but obviously a key part uh, of their team. Uh, but they've got some other players who can de definitely get the job oh, no done. No doubt about and it. And you know that those other players, every last player in black that's still sitting on the bench is a little more fired up coming into this third period. You, with, well, they have to be, I would assume. They lost one of their leaders to a, to a pretty bad injury. And, you know, they're, they're going to come out trailing 4-2, and they want to continue their season as, as being undefeated. So they're, they're going to come out here in the third period and give Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park all they can handle. Ready to get this third period underway. And here we go. Schultz steps up for... Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids. Just spoke to uh, Coon Rapids Activities Director uh, did. Kelly Scott. He did not care for the nickname, the Catbirds. He just I said know we gave him a Spring vote. Lake Park, Coon Rapids girls. But I'm afraid uh, we're going to just have to stick with Catbirds. I like, I like it better. At least on CTN, they, they may be just... Uh, the Catbirds. Maybe nowhere else, but here on CTN, I think they will may forever be... The Catbirds. I just, uh, the girls is just not strong enough. Another shot by uh, by Holmes that was uh, handled by Buell. And uh, a little scary the way she let, she uh, she handled that one. Less than a minute in. Dangerous pass nearly picked off. And I thought the uh, that today got a piece I, I of thought it. I looked kind of like it. But uh, apparently not. And icing called. The faceoff coming up back in the Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids end. The girls trying to win a draw in their defensive zone. I just can't do it that way. <laughs> no. I... It's not functional enough. It's not cool. Corrigan shot. A rebound quickly taken away by Milwaukee and played up the boards. Held in there by Brittany Del Castillo. Or Brandy, sorry. I've been calling her Brittany all day. Too. Yeah. Brittany is here. She, I saw her walking in her in her Hamlin jacket. So this so behind the net, back behind for check. Check will play it out to the point. Bobbled a little bit by Tomberlin, able to keep it in at least momentarily. And now here's Loma having it tipped away, played in deep by Corrigan and Spring Lake Park Coon Rap. The girls will get a change. <laughs> you can speak about either team calling them the girls. Correct. But only there's only one Catbird team. <laughs> on that the is ice. right. The Panthenals? No, that's not that's a close second. I still the Catbirds is the best. The Panthenals. The Gardeners? The Gardeners? <laughs> Card Oh Gardeners. Cardithers? Uh, Panthenals. Panthenals is better. Panthenals is better. Catbirds is best. It's the best, absolutely. No, no question. No icing call against the Catbirds. We'll bring it back in their defensive end. There you go. Let's leave it up well, to you the know fans. What? If you follow us on Twitter, what do you like the best? Do you like the Catbirds? Do you like the Panthenals? Do you like the Fighting Youngs? Give us your vote. Please don't do that when I'm trying <laughs> to take a drink. Uh, that's why do you think I did it? Because <laughs> I saw you taking a drink. Puck comes out to center, sent right back in by Sailor. And nearly coughed up just inside the blue line and turning into an opportunity for Andover. Instead, turn twist deep into the other end, plays around behind the net. Now we'll dump it back into the corner for Zarati. Pass skipped away from Hackett. Zarati will play it back into the corner. Hackett, first one there, battles for it with Sailor. Coming away with it is Zerati out front, a shot. And Stumo got just a piece of it. Unable to keep it in at the blue line is Murphy. I mean, we could also call him Spring Coon Lake Rapids Park. 
That's that's a mouthful. Yeah, I would never be able to get that out. Let's be honest. I can hardly get anything out. <laughs> Turnquist passed back to the point, was tipped away, and came back out to center. And here comes Holmes the other way, over skated a little bit, or pass out front, looking for Portner, was broken up, taken around behind by Corrigan. Far side, Loma has it taken off her stick by Portner. Portner will play it back in deep. Got away from Turpin. Holmes couldn't control. Turnquist sends it out to Loma, who's bumped off it at center ice. That one off the skate of Crawford. Crawford pursues, bringing the pressure of her team gets a line change. Trying to center, but therefore it is Milwaukee. That one ahead to check, taken away from her. Here's an opportunity of shot in Stumo. There to snuff it out as the turnover gave Brazier a chance in the slot. Yeah, she didn't get a lot on that and a, and a relatively easy save for Stumo. But again, good pressure by the Catbirds. And the shot in on Stumo. We can't help ourselves. I know. Sailor will reverse course, bring it up near side. Sade trying to get it out past Bloomquist. And now does, but quickly turned around. Crawford leaving it off the board there for Brazier into the slot. And didn't get a lot on that shot. Ends up in the near corner. Sailor plays it off to center. Hansel will track it down just inside her own blue line. Poked off her stick by Buderet. Bloomquist over skates in an opportunity down low on the backhand, and Buell comes up with the save on Sade coming out of the corner. Uh, Buell be able to, able to keep her pads low. Out to the point, Sailor. Fired the spinning puck and it ends up wide. Now play behind the net. That pass doesn't click. Another chance and a glove save for Brittany Buell. Yeah, it's shot right in on Buell, right about head level. And she grabs it. Good chance for Sade out of the corner, but Buell able to keep her angle and keep her two-goal lead. Brandy Del Castillo stops up. Gets some help from Turnquist coming down to recover. Turnquist can't get through the traffic. The turnaround by Holmes is shot right off the chest, a rebound and a goal for Portner, her second of the game. Yeah, big goal for the Huskies there is that big shot rebound came out long off of Buell. And Portner able to put it back home. Cuts the lead to one. There's still plenty of time left. 11-22 in the third period. As they're able to cut to a 4-3 lead. And again, a turnover in the defensive zone. And you can't give Michelle Holmes a lot of space in that high slot. She gets a shot. Hit Buell right off the chest. And a big rebound right to Portner, who buried it. Shot from the point. Stumo. Able to cover it up as bodies crashing into her. Well, again, quick whistle. Looks like she didn't really fully have that under control. <laughs> we talked about a partner with her second goal of the evening. Here's Portner again, pokes it across the shot and Buell the save. And now the whistle. A little pushing and shoving in there afterwards is Lexi Turpin. Yeah, tried to force that puck in, but Buell had a hold of it. Hansen off the draw, takes it into the corner, pressured there. And it's played ahead by Loma. Loma able to force it in deep, and this is going to get and over a penalty 
Little extra shove from Jessica Nowaki after Loma had pushed the puck past her. And that's well, just a that's just a penalty when your team has the momentum you, you can't yeah, take. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Wolf not happy with that infraction because now that puts Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park on the power play with an opportunity to see if they can push their lead back to two goals. Turnquist able to shield the keep the puck down low to Hansen slips off her stick one around the boards and out by Grace Halverson out to center Halverson dumps it off the board or uh, Turnquist rather dumps it off the boards for Hansen Hansen trying to avoid the ch stick check from Sade back to the point low angle and the save made rebound comes loose and kicked away by Stumo Turnquist. Down to Hanson, another low angle shot. I get pressure in on Stumo. But, but that, a lot of low angle yeah. stuff. So they're moving her side to side, making her cover the whole net. But not a high percentage no. shot below the dot. First couple that were able to create those rebounds. Fired just wide by Schultz. Chopped out of the zone. By Michelle Holmes. Turnquist will leave it back for Hansen behind the net. About halfway through this advantage for Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids. Hansen into the zone. Into the middle of shot for it. Oh, Hackett is turned away. Stumo just got a stick on it because he had that he had that side open. Out to the point. Down low, a tip attempt by Hansen ends up wide. Brina Del Castillo behind. Now out to the point. And again, trying to set up Hansen on the tip, and they've got to get a better angle for her. She's not in front of the net to tip it. Hackett controls behind the net, skates to the top of the circle. Down low, Hansen. That shot deflected, ends up in the slot. Holmes trying to clear, but can't. Stepping up, the pass to the back door. Trying to feed out front, the puck still loose, not clear to the corner. And that'll do it for the penalty to Jessica Nowaki. Good pressure, but no goal, there it is! Breeden's got the hat trick! Well, I think that, that's gonna be considered a oh, power play goal, yeah. Oh, I looked up and uh, yeah, I there, thought it was over instead. There are three seconds left. A power play goal for Brina Del Castillo. Well, that's a big goal, Joe. That puts him up back by two with 8.33 remaining in the contest. Brina with the hat trick. She had two Good assists. pressure in the turnover. Nobody picks her up coming off the boards. Oh, and just able quarter. to tuck that huh. in underneath the blocker hand of Cassidy Stumo. And a great power play, really. Yeah, they got yeah, good a lot pressure. Of chances. I, I would try to, to move those, those uh, shots up a little bit to improve that angle, but they were getting rebounds the first couple shots. And then uh, again, coming off the boards and nobody pressure, nobody steps up to, to challenge. Husky's coming through center with numbers. Butarek out front, the rebound chance. And able to stand strong is Buell. Well, I think she shot, shot that a little too quickly. Shot just wide by Tomberlin. Didn't, didn't get a lot on it. Sailor through traffic, a piece of goal. Finishing it off is Nicole wow. Sade. The Huskies will not go away after, after trailing twice by two. Able to cut it back to one with plenty of time remaining in this contest. 7.37 to go in period number three. And we have a uh, we have an exciting hockey Yule contest. Yule gets a piece of it, a lot of traffic in front of yep. her. She got enough of it, knocked it down, but Sade, you see, just waiting at that post, drops behind the keeper, she sweeps it home, and we're back to a one-goal game. Zarate able to get around the 
edge on Saylor and get it in deep. Getting helped by Turnquist down there. Turnquist. Held down in the corner. Hackey comes away with it out to Hanson, trying to play it back in deep. So Day able to chip it back out to center. Andover getting the line change as Bloomquist retreats to her own end. Turnquist into the zone. Trying to drag it through Milwaukee, and that won't work. Able to get it back, though, in the corner. Turnquist spins, controls out to Hanson. A one-timer, a deflection. Oh, and unable to put it home. Wow. Wow. That was a great opportunity. It's a good deflection, and Zarati oh. had a second opportunity to reflect it home and just couldn't quite get a stick on it. We'll see it again. Just great pressure inside good, there. It's right there was tip, the opportunity. Good tip by Loma and Zarati right there had it with an empty net and a little bit too much on it. It skipped away from her and she couldn't control. And the faceoff comes outside blue light. I thought it was the Andover player who slammed into her own net and knocked it off the post, but I missed something. That happens. I was watching a replay, folks. Partner has it tipped off her stick. Del Castillo trying to get around Milwaukee, but can Milwaukee back into the zone, trying to get it to Portner. Portner has it in her skates. Puck bouncing around. Buell diving, trying to get on top of it, and does. The whistle comes with 6:19 remaining in the third period. Again, the Huskies uh, a lot of pressure in on the car on the uh, Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids net. We we'll see it again. Just a lot of black jerseys around there, trying to poke that puck home. Back to the point, Milwaukee has shot, hits traffic, another chance, and Buell able to smother it up. Another face off to the left of Brittany Buell. Shot just misses for Portner. Holmes recovers, had it taken away at least momentarily by Turnquist. Hansen has it in the corner. Back up the boards for Core again tipped off her stick. Hansen recovers in the corner, trying to play it down low, but that's where Holmes is. Turnquist alertly takes it off her stick. Pass a little too far for Brina. And now a foot race, and Brina is going to win it, and that is interference. No, they did not call it. They haven't called anything. They haven't called anything. They definitely played her off work. the puck. Yeah, you can't. Uh, played her off the uh, off an opportunity. You can't get in their way. No. Shot for Porter misses wide. Coming up by now, Nicole Sade. Stops up along the boards, has it chopped off her stick. Hansen loses control as she joins the pile. Pile, Patarek out, out now to the point. That shot hit traffic again. And recovered by Hansen. She'll just play at the length and take the ice so they can get a line change. Yeah, again, Libby had a little bit of that pressure. Get some fresh skaters on the ice. Exactly five minutes remaining. I don't, I don't know that she would have won the race to the puck. I don't know that she yeah, certainly she wouldn't have had off. anything. She certainly would not have had uh, any chance to get back in front no. of the net once she did win that race to the puck. But that's interference. When you stop moving your feet and angle your body and you're no longer going for the puck, but you're clearly playing the body to keep them from getting to the puck, that's interference. That's, uh, that's how the rule is written in my recollection but hey they're letting them play what are you gonna do another odd man rush developing here nice job getting back on side Butarek trying to drop it back it bounced away from Sade Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids able to recover Zarate out to center as Hackett with her pressure by Milwaukee just dumps it in Hackett will go in strong against Halverson and Halverson Will upend her for the second time, at least tonight, right in front of the same official. And still the same result. Well, you're, I guess you're not going to get any I, different. Sorry, I got on my soapbox <laughs> there for a second. Oh, we love your soapbox, Joe. It says five cents on the side because I'm old. <laughs> One played ahead. 
foot race into the corner now. Bloomquist can't keep it away from Paige Anderson, who stops up, recovers, and now loses it to Hansen. Play it in by Corrigan and into the corner by Stumo. Under three and a half minutes remaining. Well, and I, I don't want to bring this up, but the last time we saw Coon Rapids play oh, Andover in girls something. hockey, uh, Andover tied it with it like a minute to go and won it with like 12 seconds left. I'm just going to throw it out there. This one he ain't did. over. No, it's definitely Hansen not over. Hanson winds, fires. That one hit traffic. Batted down Zarati. Poking at it, still loose. And finally, Stumo wow. able to cover up. And Stumo doing a good job of just staying in front and making sure she knew where that puck was on the ice. And with 3.01 remaining, the faceoff will be to her right. with speed into the zone. Looking out front, turn twist his shot, misses wide, Hackett recovers off the end board. Leaves it there, Schultz shoots. That misses wide, Hackett recovers near side and shoots. Stumo the save. And I'm and not, that came oh, off. that came off. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I wasn't really sure why they would blow the whistle other than that. Good Rapids had good momentum going in the offensive end. Moving the puck around and Andover running a little bit in their own defensive zone. Huskies able to get it out to center, pass a little too far. Schultz turns it around. Milwaukee can't get it back up the boards. Pile developing. Schultz sends it back out. Brina. Gets a handle and dumps it in off the linesman and pressures Nowaki into the corner. Able to come away with the puck. Brina spins. Walking out front. Centers. Puck still loose. Stubo diving. No whistle. And there it comes. It's a pile of bodies and somewhere underneath a small black rubber disc. Called a puck. Yeah, you see the time remaining 153. Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids holding that slim one Timeouts. goal lead. And over with 1.53 to play. Well, earlier than I would have expected to talk, uh, talk strategy for head coach Melissa Volk, her assistant coach and husband Luke Volk, a former Coon Rapids boys yep. hockey assistant under Brandon Molesky. And on the flip side. Sandy Nelson. Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids. Coaching staff talking some uh, a little more defensive strategy, but they know that net's going to be open here. Uh, it's just a matter oh, absolutely. of for it, in how long. Well, if you like what or you're seeing here tonight, Joe, make sure you like us on Facebook. We're all over social media. Make sure you find us, CTN Studios, on Facebook. Well, if you're 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 a guessing man, what would you uh, what would you think when they pull their goalie? What how much time remaining? What would I do? Yeah, what would you do, Joe Young? With this much time remaining, I wouldn't be thinking well, about pulling my goalie. No, yet. not now. But what? When would you? I I would have waited to use this power play. You're going to get another whistle uh, in the in the next 153. Right. I I'd want to get it down to about a minute. But the trend is to to play. Uh, you know, to pull that goalie a little bit earlier, it just it, more and more coaches are, are willing to do that. But I tell you, going into that planning, I'm sure Melissa Volk is thinking, you know, in every scenario they've ever thought of, six men, six players on the ice, I guarantee number three was in that mix. Oh, absolutely. 99.9% of the time. Now you just have to adjust on the fly. You realize you don't have her in the lineup. Well, they've got the, the zone possession that they wanted. We're under 90 seconds remaining. 
Sumo still remains on her goal line, and here she comes as Alyssa Hansen gains control and uh, plays it out to center. Huskies able to play it back to the blue line and in. Here comes Buderak, dropping it back, tipped away from Portner, a shot through traffic, deflected wide into the corner, recovered by Portner, down low for Buderak, back to Portner. Portner back out to the point for Milwaukee. Milwaukee back in down low. It'll go to Buderak behind the goal line. Down, back up top and poke back in. Got away from Buderak. Holmes gets it back to her low along the boards. Down low. Holmes trying to center. That deflected comes out to the point. Tomberlin sends it back into the far zone. Good possession so far for Andover here with the, with the extra skater but they're not able to get it out front, and they haven't been able to get any shots on goal. Again, trying to center, a lot of pressure out there, a block at the point by Zerati, that's out of the zone, and fired back in deep, under 20 seconds left, and it'll come right back out on its own, high and out of the zone by Turnquist, as we're down to 10 seconds left. Hackett will leave it for Hansen, who plays it ahead, and that will do it. This one's going to bounce. The Rocky will keep it out of the net. But uh, the Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad will hold on for the 5-4 win and improve to 2-0 on the year. Well, they really did hold on because they had twice had a two-goal lead, not, and only to see Andover cut it to one. They give the Huskies a lot of credit. They did a good job of getting that that job or that score down to one goal but Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids holds on and, and as you mentioned goes to 2-0 and gets that win. Yeah and uh, an exciting game went back and forth throughout the entire contest very physical as we talked about uh, and and now a, a great win for uh, Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids but at the same time you have to be thinking about uh, Andover and uh, Mackenzie Cedarburg uh, you know just Absolutely. a terrible injury Horrible. to it. Obviously, a very important Hate to see it. part of their uh, of their team, and uh, it, it de definitely looks with uh, how everything went down that that's going to be a, a, an injury that will probably uh, take some time. Yeah, uh, if it's a broken wrist, which it kind of looked like, and it's going to take a while to heal that. And we, you know, you never know when she'll be able to come back, but it's definitely going to be quite a while. Salute to the fans yep. for the first time here at Fogarty Arena as their home ice. Both home openers under their belts for the new team and two wins. And uh, what a game we saw as we talked about went back and forth. Andover scored first. Uh, just kind of a turnover in the zone and buried by Holmes. And then an end-to-end -end rush for Alyssa Hansen. Able to fire that one and somehow sneak it through the pads of Cassidy Stumo. 19 seconds into the second period. Great effort by Porter. Walks the defender, finds the five hole, puts her team up two to one. But Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park responded with three unanswered to end the second. A rebound poked right to Brina Del Castillo. She goes to the backhand for her first, uses her speed and goes far side for her second. That gave Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park its first lead at three to two. They add one late in the second period. Again, on the odd man rush, Zerati has stopped. The Turnquist following has the rebound to put home. Put him up four to two. Coming into the third period, and then a high one off the chest, and Buell obviously lost it. Portner there for the rebound, scores her second of the game, and then on the power play, comes right to Brina, and she finds a gap in the goalie's pads for her hat trick. And then it was uh, Nicole Sade on a rebound that cut it to a one-goal game, but uh, Coon Rapids Spring Lake Park able to hold on for the win. Yeah, and a good win for them as, uh, as they're able to, to you know, hold that pressure off because Andover did pressure them mightily at the end of that game at the end of the third period, but uh, a nice win for Spring Lake Park Coon Rapids squad. And we'll see more of them coming up on Saturday. They're on the road going to... Uh, over to Champlain Park, the, I want to say the Ice House because that's what it says on the wall. The Ice Forum, <laughs> the Ice Forum at Champlain Park to see the Rebels. And then uh, we're at Anoka 
on Saturday the 21st. We'll see the boys team in action for the first time also against Anoka, but that's going to be at home at the Coon Rapids Ice Center. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score from Fogarty. It's Spring Lake Park, Coon Rapids 5 and over 4. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN for the entire crew, including Mr. Howie Shapiro. I'm Joe Young saying goodbye.